New details tonight are emerging about the ongoing investigation into the murder of an Iowa State student, Tong Chao, missing since last fall, and their body was later found, as you know, uh, in Iowa City. The 20-year-old reportedly went to visit her boyfriend, Zing Yang Li, in Iowa City. Early September, nearly 20 days later, Iowa City police discovered her body in the trunk of her vehicle in Iowa City. KWWL's Justin Andrews has been following this case for us since it broke several weeks ago and Justin tonight you've been sorting through pages of search warrant material tell us what you've learned well Ron I got my hands on 43 pages of search warrants related to the Tong Shao case they detail a timeline leading up to the discovery of her body tonight the documents revealed just days before Shao was reported missing her boyfriend Lee found out there may have been another guy we were able to get our hands on these search warrants after a 90-day seal expired in connection with Tong Shao's case. It was back in late September when Iowa City Police found the 20-year-old's body inside the trunk of her car nearly 20 days after her roommates didn't hear from her. According to new information from these search warrants, Shao reportedly sent a text message using her boyfriend's phone saying she was taking a bus to Minnesota. However, detectives believe the message actually came from her boyfriend Xiangdan Lee. But the documents detail something else alarming. Detectives spoke with Lee's friend. That friend allegedly told them that Lee was upset with Xiao because he overheard a conversation she was having with another man. According to these warrants, Lee's friend told detectives that Lee called Xiao and she accidentally answered her phone. And for 30 minutes, Lee claims Xiao was complaining about Lee and saying, quote, things about him that were not nice. A few days passed by and Lee's friend checked in on him to see how Lee and Xiao were doing doing and Lee said fine for now. 17 days later, her body was found in the trunk outside of her boyfriend's apartment. Now, Ron, I also read in the documents that an employee at Lee's apartment complex says she was working to get Lee moved into a different apartment unit. Once she didn't hear from him within about a week, she eventually went into the apartment and says it appeared, quote, someone had left it in a hurry. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. Yeah,